Welcome, everybody. My name is Rob Banke. I am the co-founder over at Halborn, and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Critical Spotlight. Today, we have Isabel. Introduce yourself. Tell us about your more recent finding. Hello, Rob. I'm the principal engineer in Solana, and my critical finding is a denial of service on pool interactions for non-creator users. We have a liquidity staking program, uh, which allows users to create liquidity pools. Uh, in these liquidity pools, uh, some operations can be performed like add liquidity, remove liquidity, swapping operations. Uh, however, these operations are limited to be called only by the, the its creator. So um, this is because the liquidity pool account is a PDA composed of several uh, seeds. One of them is the creator. So these operations uh, have a constraint implemented, which is validating that the signer match the creator in the seed. So this will result in nobody beyond the, the creator uh, being able to call this, uh, this instruction. So this may make no sense, and this is not the expected behavior of the program. In addition, there are other constraints validating that other accounts are already initialized, which are not because this is only happening in the pool creation. Got it, got it. Um, you know, just another example all day, every day, um, what we're doing over at Halborn. I mean, you know, security 101, you have your CIA triad, right? Confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Um, if you can deny service attack someone, you know, it's obviously availability. Um, I mean, how, how did you find this? Can you tell us a little bit about the methodology it took to, to find this critical? Yeah, we always do a really deep uh, code review to identify uh, findings. Uh, but further than that, we, we run some test case scenario always and develop some proof of concept to confirm this kind of issues. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Um, I mean, let's talk about how we fix it. Like, uh, what was our recommended remediation in this case? And the remediation um, it was uh, for the liquidity pool account to remove the seats in the constraints validation and for the other accounts not, not initialized to add um, the init if needed in the constraint that initialize the account if it's not already, but always taking into account that uh, if it is already initialized, the data can be reset. Okay, yeah, um, definitely makes sense. What, um, you know, obviously people wanna be uh, writing code that obviously doesn't have bugs, right? So what can companies do to prevent these kind of issues from popping up? Anchor is very useful. However, it's highly recommend to to be very careful uh, when implementing the constraint for account validation. Beyond that, it's uh, very important to uh, do code review and perform some um, test case uh, scenario to run to, to verify the expected behavior of the program. Yeah, of course. Code reviews, as many eyes and ears as you can get on a code base as possible, internally and externally, it's really important. So it makes a lot of sense. Um, Isabel, that's about as much time as we have for today. I wanted to thank you for taking the time out to tell us about this. And thank you all for watching another episode of Critical Spotlight. See you at the next one.